guys, it's Joanne. How are you? Welcome to Maggie Holmes Monday. I hope everybody's doing good. Before we get started, um, I just want to let you know that my voice is horrible because both my husband and I got COVID. So I seem to be doing okay. And he was like super, super bad, but he's better now. So if you saw my Cut Apart Crazy video from... Saturday, I think I posted it. You heard about our vacation. Well, that got cut in half. We had to give our Blake Shelton concert tickets away so we didn't spread COVID. And we were too sick anyways, but you know what I mean. I'm probably not going to make a lot of sense, but I absolutely wanted to do this. So before I forget to say it, um, my friends Gwen Rock, Kelly Pyron, and Sarah Scraps participate in Maggie Holmes Monday. I am going to list all of their channels below because they are fantastic. And even if they didn't happen to participate every month, they still have a lot of Maggie Holmes Monday videos that you can view, okay? So I am going to use Maggie Holmes Marigold Collection. And I made this camera cut file from Confessions of a Paper Edit Cut File Shop. I'm on that design team, so I wanted to use this camera because I thought it went really good with this photo. This is my daughter and my grandson. Is that not the most beautiful photo ever? I backed the cut file and the photo literally with just paper scraps. All kinds of paper scraps that I had in my stash. So I didn't have to cut into 12 by 12 papers. All right. And then the first thing I want to do is put a little mixed media around the photo. And to save time and have you not have to listen to my voice so much. I went ahead and drew a pencil line where I wanted the photo to go. So I can put just a little bit of mixed media behind it. I'm using the Shimmers Inklings, Inklings Emerald City. And I just thought that... That matched super perfect with this collection. Doesn't that look really close? So I put a little bit over here, my glass mat. So I'm gonna put some water in that and stir it up and I will get that going. I'm just gonna do a little paint, like um, the packaging technique. Sorry, again, my brain doesn't work very well today. To get my photo out of the way so I don't get paint on it. I'm going to grab a napkin to eliminate some messes. And I just take, if you haven't seen my videos before, a piece of plastic, a bag, something came in it, put a paper towel in it, and then I just go ahead and dab some of the liquid up. And I don't do a lot, I let it run back off. Over here, you see me shaking it. And then I always put a napkin underneath it on the way over just to make sure that I don't spill any of the color where I do not wish it to be and that's all I do and it comes out super cool so I'm going to speed this up and here we go okay guys there's the mixed media it doesn't look like much until you get your photo back down but I just did a little bit around I want it peeking out from the photo obviously some of it is going to get covered up I'm gonna put it my photo right about here I think I'm gonna match up the cup file and see how there's a gap right here between this flower and that flower I want to just make sure that it's not half pattern paper half background paper I just want to Put it right about there so let's go ahead and get this photo on here straight I like to put my t-square ruler down about where I want the photo and then hope my klutzy self doesn't knock my t-square ruler and I'll just do some ATG I'll probably put like three or four strips of ATG down just to make sure it adheres to the mixed media and let me make sure this is straight. Looking good. Get my photo polishing cloth because I have glue and mixed media on my hands. And just go ahead and press that down. 
probably going to end up pulling corner of it back up because I think I'm going to slide some ephemera under there. Then I'm wondering, I don't think that I want this popped up. I think I want this flat. So I'm going to go ahead and use glue to adhere that down. Alright guys, I have glue underneath this. I didn't press the top down because I was going to put this little cluster. This was in my ephemera photo case. I had this decorating one of my craft room drawers that previously held this collection. And I said, oh, that's super pretty. I'm just going to go ahead and use it then. So I'm going to slide this pink one underneath the photo. Let me get my tweezers. Probably going to do things a little backwards here today. I think maybe I'll take this puffy sticker off and use it someplace else. Just slide this in here like so to make sure that it's covering this area here of the camera. It looks pretty cute. And then I can pop these wings up on some foam. And I'll put this puffy sticker somewhere. So now I can go ahead and put this down. Probably I'm not going to talk a ton, so please excuse me if you think that my video is boring today. I apologize. Okay. This one's going to need a lot of glue. Alright, I'm going to grab some foam squares. Um, ugh. Reaching. Okay. Got it cut these because they're really big and then put them underneath the wings like so and if you want it propped up a lot you could put two layers of foam squares underneath there too that would look pretty now let's see what we can do with this puffy. Oh my goodness. No. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to put some glue under there. Because I messed around with it so much, it's probably not going to stick anymore. I have some glue seeping out. I'm just going to take a paper towel and dab that out. All right, so this is all adhered down pretty well. I think that's good. And I'm kind of thinking I want to do a little bit of stamping. And I should have done this at the beginning too, but again, not thinking. It's okay, it'll come out fine. This is a music note stamp. I got it, it's Recollections. I got it at Michael's. Just gonna, I only inked right up here, then I'm gonna put this a little bit right here lightly. It doesn't need to come out perfect, and then I'm gonna turn my paper and put a little bit right here. And I'm doing light ink padding. Let me do this. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit right there. It's okay if it doesn't come out good. And it doesn't matter if it's upside down or anything. It's just music notes. It looks super cool. Tap back on my ink. So there's that. That's what I love about those stamps is you don't have to be perfect. And it doesn't matter how they come out. It still looks good. Alright. So let's do some ephemera. I've got a bunch picked out here. This is Pink Fresh Studio dye. I cut some leaves. This is from one of the pattern papers I fussy cut. Some of this is ephemera. And that's that. All right, so let's see. I think I want to get something over here. I want to put it underneath the photo. Just tuck it in here. Too big. Cut that a little bit. 
No, I don't want that to thicken up. I have an extra leaf somewhere. So I was thinking maybe I could slide that in here. Alright, that looks good. I can glue that down after I make sure I'm happy with what I got here. And then, thinking about putting some underneath this camera, which we'll just have to re-adhere everything back down after I do this. I don't know why I adhere things down and then pull them up. It just doesn't make any sense. But, that's what I did. Let's sneak that underneath there. Come in with a second one here, like so. Put this pink for Studio Metal die out of the papers, like this. Just have a leaf coming down. And then over here, I'm wondering if I can get that slid in there. I think I'll just cut some of this off. This fussy cut. Just slide that in there just to make this bigger. I don't know if we need this, but we're going to try because I have it. So let's see if we can use it. I don't think we need it to be that big. We could use two. And then put a second little one in here. Yeah, that's okay. Then I was thinking. Maybe get a green flower in over here because then I can get this green butterfly in over here. This butterfly is like the vellum and it's awful big and I don't know if I want it there or if I wanted to put it right here. What do you guys think? I think here is better because there's already one right there. So, I don't know. I'm not super happy with all of that over here. Maybe I'll put this green one up here more. Oh my gosh, I'm torturing my paper. That's better. All right, so then I'll put this back underneath there. Poor butterfly wing. It's all mangled now. Let me get my glue. Get that stuck down. Put that in there, maybe. Move this one. Oh my goodness. Yep, that's fine. Okay, I'll get this one glued down. Again, sorry, I'm not saying much. Everything's a struggle, of course, today, too. Yeah, I think that'll look pretty. So I'm just going to put glue right in the middle of the butterfly here like this. And then put him right here on the corner. And the glue is white right now, but it will dry clear eventually, so I'm not really worried about it. Okay, and then I have one more of these, and just for the sake of using it, and to pull in the same leaf over here that I have here, Okay guys, here's the sticker sheet. I don't know if I can use any of these, but we're gonna try. This says memories. I don't know where I can put it. Oh, maybe I can sneak it in over here, like on the side, underneath, like that. Yep, that's okay. 
Okay, so for my title, I decided that I was going to use this piece of Bramble Fox. It's like a banner it says together, which is perfect for this photo. Just going to use my Scotch Tacky Glue on this. You don't have to use glossy accents on your perspectives. Any glue will do. And I'm just going to tuck half of it underneath these florals under here, like so. And I just want to make sure that you can still see it. Yeah, that's good. I think that's pretty straight. I'm going to hold that down for a moment. Good, good. I like it a lot. All right, then my final touches. I think I'm going to do some gold splatters. So I'm going to cover up my photo and I'll cover up my glue here before I forget to put the top on and it dries out. I'm going to use just some packaging to cover up pictures my picture like that all right and oh I never glued this down see I think that's what they call COVID brain but I'm very lucky because my husband had it horrible he was so sick he was like screaming in pain it was horrifying and then Really not a good vacation, but a lot of people had it worse than me, so I am going to put down all the new antique gold splatters, and I have pink fresh gold gems, and I'm going to use these as like enamel dots, so I'm going to speed this up for it doesn't take forever, and we're going to get this done, okay? So here we go. Okay guys, we're all done. I hope you like that. I left that part in so you can see what it's like to put these down. It's a little bit of struggle to get it down, but I sped it up. I hope you didn't find it too boring. And again, sorry about my voice, but I hope you like the layout at least and it inspired you to do something like this. So we'll do some close-ups. I love this background paper. It's got like the ledger grid lines on it and it looks like old washi tape or something here and here like an old piece of tape I love that stamp here a stamp under here tons of gold splatters a big cluster above the camera and there's the camera cut file backed with all papers from the collection and here's those little cute gold I don't know really think what they're gems they're kind of like gold pearls Okay, and there's that one right there. I put enamel dots in the middle of the flowers that came with the cut file. My awesome photo. And a little cluster here on the side with two sets of the gold pearls, we're going to call them. And I think it's super cool how this bent up. And then I put a ton of gold splatters right on that acetate butterfly because I think I like that a lot. And then here's my title. It says Together, right? Piece of Bramble Fox. Okay, so I will list all my friends' channels below, like I said. And I'll list Bramble Fox below. And I'll list Confessions of a Paper at a Cup File Shop below. And you can pick up the Mary Book Gold Collection at your favorite scrapbooking store. I'm sure there's still some left that's not too super old. Okay. And I hope you like this. I'll put close-ups at the end for you. Thank you for coming to see me. Please like this video if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel. And follow me on Instagram if you want to. Okay? Thank you so much, my friends. Bye!